I want to do one more. I want to check something. I've currently got 43 darkness points. I want to see if they carry over. I They do. Okay. So... That worked out. So, one of the answers I need to learn... One of the things I need to learn here, though, is... Oh! This guy has a hella drop attack! Okay, Might of Bone's pretty good, actually. Uh, let's see. One of the things I gotta learn... Is that, uh... I should actually save my darkness bits. It would be very nice to, uh... To spend it every time. I've been assuming this is... I've been assuming this is exactly like Rogue Legacy. It's not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I started this run with... 50 points, sir? Uh, 43 points of darkness schmutz. And, uh, I'm already up to 72. So the answer is... Uh, the answer is very much... Save my bits and get uh, iframes. Because if I can get iframes, I will be uh, I will be super freaking strong. Uh, I mean, I'll get Jester. I just don't care for Jester at this point. Wait, new one. Maybe not. That's the same one. I think four knives. Interesting. It looks like a different. Uh... Oh no! It 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 is a different one. Oh yeah, I do do- I do do collision damage. Haha, <laughs> tables have turned! And he's just slow enough. That's the early access boss fights. Remember the Hydra- uh, Hades Hydra? I do! And that's actually the thing I kind of want to avoid. Because I really did not like how freaking powerful the Hydra was, or the, um... It was the Hydra, and it was the... Uh, what was it? The Unfinished One, or whatever his name was, in, uh... In Dead Cells. I hated both of them. It was awful, and I did not enjoy fighting them in the slightest. Because they did so much damage. They weren't very fun to fight. And they kind of were an unnecessary gate in content. Where they could have actually just had it be balanced. And then just said like, alright, and that's the end of content. And instead it's just like, let's make this blisteringly difficult. To give players something to work towards. And I like, destroyed my hands beating the Hydra. Which like, mildly my own fault and stuff like that. Concierge, originally called the unfinished one. There we go. Uh, movement speed by 30%, crit rate by 10%, or... Do I gotta go fast? Hell yeah. I don't feel that much faster. Yeah, let's switch to the gargoyle. Not a big fan of the gargoyle, but being able to fly has its benefits. Also does a lot of damage. Also, I seem to have a really high crit rate on this guy. There we go. Neat thing about the Minotaur, by the way. Dude has an absolutely insane, uh, not attack speed, but skill activation time. Like, you can trigger his charge attack. And it has, like, zero animations. You just plonk into enemies real fast. Oh, you're new.
Okay. There we go. Got her. I'm not going to stand on that weird apple mine. You crazy? Okay. Wraith. 20% damage. Portal and Underworld opens. Pulls in enemies while damaging them. Hell yeah. That sounds fun. What do we get for this one? Oh, they're different per character. Some warrior. Body slam into enemies. Wallop. Power. Hell yeah. Not necessarily sure if this guy's worth it, but, uh... We got God of War. Okay. I'm liking those grabby hands. They're not... Oh. Didn't even notice the tentacle there. Oop. Eh, close enough. But yeah, I think I'm probably going to switch out Kratos. He's good, but he's not, like, amazing good. Nice slam. I will show you my slam. Boop. Yeah, see, this is a character that is absolutely benefiting from the raw damage. Oh, I just... I just break things by proximity. That's lovely. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I can just walk through structures and whatnot. N Ninja and Minotaur are possible? Yeah. 100%. Like, I'd originally... I had originally kind of poo-pooed Minotaur, thinking... <laughs> but this is foolhardy. Minotaur is butt slam... for days. <laughs> oh. oh, man, I just gotta get... I just gotta get him some, um... some max HP, and maybe a little bit more raw damage, and the dude will be... unstoppable. Unfortunately, Kratos attacks slower. Good drop attack, though. I'll give him that. But yeah, attacks slower. There's some kind of crit synchronicity going here. Let's see, you can kill the plant things, I think. Yeah, pretty sure you can kill the plants. Okay. Hurt a bit. Your damage shrine is mine! Ow. Okay, so I can't break the this thing. There we go. Boop. And we healed a little bit. Not enough. Alright, so what do we got here? Quickly becoming a Dark Souls boss. I would play that game. You just play as a Dark Souls boss. Gold gain by 10%, max HP by 25%. Move attack speed. Uh, I mean, smart thing would be gold incense burner. I am scary. Yeah, no, I like this game. I'm glad we did another run. I was a little salty after the last boss. 
But I think the real answer is just like... Save your peanuts. And everything will be okay. I'd like to get some better use items and some other stuff, but eh, whatever. Okay, so I can't break everything. I'm gonna break up their shrine, though. Hey, thank you, Dan the Man, for the 100 bits. Played your first game of D&D last Wednesday. Just attack with bar Barbarian Half Orc. The crit and did 25 damage to a guy that only had 26 health. Ooh. That must have been that must have been satisfying. Okay, so there's there's another ice mage. There we go. God, he's so good. Like not every character in this game is created equal, but that's fine. But yeah, congrats. I I think Barbarian was the first character I... No, 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 no. Barbarian was the first character I ever played when I played 3rd edition D&D. I don't know if Barbarians existed in, uh... Oh, it's this guy again. Here's the question. What level is he? I'm just gonna leave him with that. Okay, stay away from that. Got him. Unfortunately, a bit of a bruiser. Cobalt, melee attack speed increased by 10%. Cause damage and mine small amount of gold coins from an enemy. Yeah. Being able to farm cash from certain enemies. <gasps> Interesting that he's a balance type. Okay, that's... Some good attack speed. Okay, so far so good. Sort of. I'm gonna have to try the uh, mine gold, mining gold from enemies. There we go. Perfect. That's a decent amount of cash. We'll still only be able to buy one item, but still. Oh, that's why I'm so fast. I was wondering about that, but we have an item that gives me a 30% movement speed bonus. That's where this is coming from. I get it. I don't think the mining gold from enemies actually works. Wait, damn it. Oh, I see. It's got to kill him. Okay, I'll be taking that. 
Oh, I'm I'm the one that's healing. Got it. Be nice to actually be able to carry this with me into the boss fight, but whatever. Round three is the charm. We will see. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't foresee myself winning this one. I do a lot of damage, but I don't have an easy way of avoiding his bullshit. Yeah. The Minotaur is just too slow. <sighs> okay, so we, we have to save our stuff. So we can do one more run. Okay, we got Spearman. Fourth times the, times the charm. Yeah, probably. I mean, it'll take a while. Having iframes will probably be the main solution. Because I think the thing is, that guy... That guy is mostly difficult. Entirely as a result of his, uh... Very difficult to dodge attacks. Oh god, I got hit by all of those. There's no iframes on getting hit. Well... Guy's got a really good attack speed. Oh. Well, that would have been helpful. Guess now I know it's there. Interesting. This guy also has a... Uh, has damage on charge. I dig it. a long cooldown on his abilities. I guess that's why I should get the, uh, just invest a smidge into that one perk. Which one is this? Hello. Glacial Skull. Chance to freeze enemies, throw multiple glacier shards upon swapping, summons his iceberg, attacking and freezing nearby enemies. Okay. So, quick little attack patterns. Big AoE. I'll take it. I was expecting it to be more of like a caster type or something. But I guess not. There we go. That's some dang bitch. So yeah, we might want to invest in a couple of perks along the way here. regardless of iframes, just to help out. At least speed up the farming process. Excuse me. None of that. 
There we go. Now I should be healing. If we go to the night market, night market has... I didn't make enough money. I'll take a 10% crit rating, though. So it seems like my best option, obviously hit him while he's like this. But I can just, I can actually just stun freeze him. Which is really strong. Okay, grab that. Move and speed up by seven and fly forward very quickly. I'm not a big fa fan of that one. That's good for getting around. Yes. I'm just not super passionate about the... Uh, I'm not super passionate about the exact effect. Guess it's good for traversing distance. If I had some reason to do so. I guess I will just wait. Oh, I wonder if the spear has a down attack. Nope. It's just got a regular attack. Alright, poke it. Get the thing. Thank you, Dan the Man, for the additional 10 bits. Thank you. Alright, what are we looking at here? <gasps> yes, the man! The man is returned. Oh. But changed slightly. Okay. So that's super helpful. I don't... I think the charge was bad, or...? Huh, that gold is not collecting for reasons. I think the charge is better than the stomp. But, uh... I'll take what I can get. It also does a shit ton of damage. So it doesn't bother me too much. Yeah, you can activate the stomp in the air. A dig. I honestly don't know which I like better. The stomp has better charge. But no AoE. Ow. That didn't work. I like the icicle, but it kind of will just hit n nothing sometimes. Okay, what do we get? 
skeleton spear. Charge and ready to charge. Oh, it's a counterattack. Yeah, let's grab this spear. I like... Uh, no, 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 no. Ice is better. get to the gold pile. Okay. Still have big in here. Yeah, it's that icicle. I'm curious if that'll work on what's-his-face. Because if it works on the, uh, if it works on the wood golem, we're in a good spot. Oh. He didn't die. Weird. Well, oh, huh. all right, that works awkwardly. Yes. Do you appreciate ice? There's no pod in there. I just do a lot of damage. Ice or not. No enemy. Weird. Bammo. God, I love the contact damage on the mini minion. Uh, the minion, the minotaur. It's just super good. Uh, let's see. Crit rating is good. It's only like a 10% damage bonus, but uh, it does work. Aw. I tried to get away from that this time. Nope, that didn't work. When in doubt, Minotaur solves problems. Okay. Increases attack by 20%. Percent for speed skulls. I have power. What is this? Increases incoming damage. Mm. Oh, where'd this guy go? Where'd either of these guys go? Oh, let's see. Well, here's the question. I can't get two things. Incre d uh, reducing damage taken is not much. I guess I'm just going to grab the Carlean Insignia. Oh, is this one again? Sup, child? Okay, that hurt a lot. We did not have the ability to deal with that as much. We get Kobold. I guess I'll take it. I'm not super keen on Kobold. Uh, nah.
There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ooh, got some darkness out of him. Problem is, I've still got very little, very little HP. Maybe I should have done Jester instead of Ice Guy. I just wanted to see if the Ice Guy could actually freeze the, um... Well, we're dead one way or another. Ah, God damn it, go away, child. Freaking ouch. Yeah, so I like the ice guy. His regular attacks are not quite worth it. Celerate's cooldown is by X percent for each kill. Oh. That's okay. All of these are just going to take a while to unlock. Yeah, so I'm just going to save up for uh, Bone Gun Barrel. It's going to take a while. So Quintessence is the use item. Items are the items that I picked up. Oh, you can change the skill order. That's kind of nice. Okay, one way or another, though. Uh, getting a little tired of this game. It's fun, but it's definitely w one of those where it's like it's in a rough state. Um, just due to, you know... I guess the challenge compared to the grind compared to what meta progression I have, I think this is the kind of game that I'd prefer to come back to when it's done, uh, 1.0, or maybe I'll throw it on the roguelike roulette at some point and we'll come back to it. I'm not entirely sure. I like where they're going with it. The different skull forms are a ton of fun, especially when they're working really well. Uh, experimentation kind of puts a bit of a damper on it, because some of them are honestly just kind of bad in comparison to other ones. Minotaur and Ninja are by and far the most fun of the list, but the rest had some benefits here and there. The Ice Guy was great for CC, it's just the enemies would immediately pop out of it and hit you, and it's like, ah. And I guess that was my fault for being greedy, but still. But honestly, if I can get to the point where I have iframes, uh, then everything else will just kind of fall in line. But for now, I guess, thanks so much for watching, we'll come back to this at some point. Yeah, skulls are awesome, bosses are unbalanced. They're just kind of, they're a lot harder than the rest of the game. Uh, let's say Dark Souls, I hate to use it as an, as an example, but every time you fight an enemy in Dark Souls, it's like a small preparation for eventually fighting one boss or another. There are very few bosses that feel like they're out of left field, whereas like all of the bosses in this game are so much more aggressive and so much faster. It, it's, it's honestly like the bosses and the just basic grunt enemies are from completely different games. And I think that's fine, but the... the... Gameplay required to beat either or completely different. One is just purely about like enemy management, ability management, and like positioning. The other one's like actually a Twitch uh, hack and slash RPG kind of situation. I do love the hero bosses aspect though. I totally agree. It's just one of those where it's like, unlike some games, this this one doesn't really feel like the. Uh, I, I I guess an easier example would be like. Every fight in Hollow Knight, for example, generally feels like they're all kind of the same and they match up with the bosses. Some of the enemies are straight up, like, dangerous. If you don't know what you're doing, you've never fought them before. I'm thinking of the the shield rapier guys in the forest zone. In the, the second area in Hollow Knight. And, like, how dangerous those guys actually could be. Or, like, some of the mantises and so on and so forth. Like, I dig, I dig it. In this game, but the, the the enemies are just fodder. The bosses are the real challenge. And that's good. I just wish it matched better one way or another. Or, you know, the bosses were just slightly easier, so it didn't need to match. Anywho, 